Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. My name is Adam. So today I will be presenting my final year project. First of all, my full name is Abdul Hazam Hayruddin and I'm for a student of Bachelor Manufacturing Engineering. And my final year project entitled the design and development of a testing rig for position localization using the ROS. And my supervisor name is Dr. Shariman bin Abdullah. Before I go any further, I want to recap a problem statement from my previous FYP1. Okay, the first problem statement is the current transportation system in our industry are not flexible. And a mobile robot industry will need a landmark as a guide in performing the booking process. For motion, it is the AGV, the Automated Guided Vehicle. Okay, they will need the guided, for example, as a tape line, the QR code, or landmark something in order they to perform the program. Okay, and the last problem statement is the ROS algorithm that used in our autonomous mobile robot platform tends to have the shortage or error. Which means, for example, in the real time, we are the, with the system, they will slightly different in terms of distance or something like that. Okay. Next, my objective is to develop a mobile robot platform testing great programming framework and control using the ROS robot operating system. Okay. The second objective is to perform data collection through the surrounding environment and creating a mapping using the SRAM, which is the simultaneous localization and mapping, okay. And the last objective is to analyze the behavior of the mobile robot when we have complete moving from a position and to an input desired location. Then, this is my project flowchart, which will start in the designing the mobile platform itself, okay. In the design, we'll be running the testing for fitting all the part, or the motor, or the battery, or the electrical component, in all good, then we can develop the ROS algorithm using the Python OS. Okay, then if all good, we have to run test run the robot, test for the localization, see if the encoder works, both encoder work. So after that, if all are good, can have the data acquisition. Data acquisition will need to running the sensor, lidar sensor, laser sensor on the robot, and we have data. If we have data, so we can generate mapping. Only after that. All good, we can create the path planning for our, our objective for this project. Okay, after we have the path planning, we can do the analysis. Okay, the analysis can conclude if the robot can autonomously move from the one location to one desired location. So, the objective is achieved. Okay, next, in the my previous method planning, I will have to state in the mobile robot testing grade development to have the its design. To state the sensor use, uh, which the motor type, how the suspension works, and the locomotive method, which we use the differential drive. Okay, and for the ROS algorithm, we use the SLAM, uh, the simultaneous localization and mapping, AMCL, adaptive motor color localization, and TF to state the position of the sensor uh, according to the body of the robot. Okay, and lastly, to generate the mapping, G mapping. Okay, and then for the data acquisition. Uh, we have to state. Uh, we have to read the motor encoder, the, the lidar, the laser sensor, uh, generate the mapping, and generate path. And lastly, for the analysis, we will have to experiment uh, to define the speed and to state the path accuracy. Okay, now for my detailed drawings, you can see here. Generally, there are four main part of uh, this mobile robot, which is the top lid, and here is the uh, motor place, which is the motor housing. And this is the mobile robot body. And lastly, here is the tire. Okay. For the detail drawing, generally my robot is thickness around uh, 30, 34 cm and in length of 48 cm. Okay. Okay. Now, these are all the component that needs for um, completing this project uh, in creating the mobile robot. Okay. There are quite numbers of components here and quite expensive, especially for the LiDAR sensor and the advanced motor controller. Okay, last but not least, for methodology, I have created one experiment method for mobile robot in order to define all the three objectives. Okay, the first experiment is to perform mapping based on a new environment. Okay, next, to perform the self localization and slam. And third, to perform the autonomous movement. And lastly, to navigate the path desired from the A location to B location. Okay, now for the result and discussion, Alhamdulillah, with the guide and help from Dr. Shariman, I have successfully developed the mobile robot according to design and according to the plan. Okay, this is the picture of the mobile finished mobile robot. Okay, and this mobile robot has been installed with the ROS framework for the motion and control. Okay, here is the 
feature of and we have configured the, the wiring for the robot and this is the way the gears are located. Okay, next, this is the wiring diagram for the mobile robot. There are six main components that we use for this part. Okay, the first is the battery, we have the, next, the main switch. Next, the pull up board for encoder, which to voltage down the, the voltage to 5 volt. Okay, next, we have the brush DC motor, two of them. Okay, next, we have the motor driver to control the motor and read the encoder. And lastly, to launch the Python OS, we have used the microcomputer, which is the Raspberry Pi 4. Next, for the experiment result, Alhamdulillah, the mobile robot has successfully do the mapping process throughout the surrounding environment. Here you can see the mapping have been generated in the one building in the FKP, okay, and it's able to perform the safe localization and slam. Okay, now you can see the green one is the pass have been dropped by the mobile robot while doing the mapping process, and lastly we have able to perform the autonomous movement using the RV software where we want to navigate the pass for the robot from A position to the B location. Okay, now this video shows when the mobile robot are performing the mapping process in the uh, new environment in the FKP. Okay, here you can see the RV software. RV software uh, we have used in the in the Python OS used to perform the mapping uh, to capture the mapping and do the uh, navigation process in for the robot. Okay, okay. The RV software in the Python. Okay, the robot are currently uh, move into the uh, un 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 space in the mapping. So in order to smooth the mapping, the robot have to go near to the wall. Okay. This is the position of the robot. The red one is the position of the show the movement of the robot. Okay. Okay. Now, to determine the accuracy of the mobile robot for the navigation process, uh, the experiment has been conducted to have the how much the error from the location, uh, last location, and the desired location. Okay. Now you can see if the robot are starting here, so this one the, the first location. So. At the A and B location, we have uh, command the robot using the RVs to move from the A location to the B location. Okay. At the B location, we have we can we will calculate what is the error, what is the this uh, direction error for the X direction and Y direction. So we have done this method for ten times and we have the average for the error. So the final result for the average the error for this mobile robot is around uh, eleven point. 5.8 mm. Okay. Okay. Last but not least, the conclusion for this project first is all the objectives have been achieved. Where the first objective is to develop the mobile robot and install the ROS firmware. Okay. Next, and the second objective is to perform the mapping process using the SRAM technologies. Uh, okay. And the third objective is to uh, analyze the behavior of the mobile robot when performing the movement from the A location to the B location where we give the result from the experiment okay next for the suggestion in this project uh, my suggestion is to fix the um, caster wheel seat problem okay for this uh, mobile robot there is a problem in the caster wheel where we can see in the previous result uh, of the experiment where we have tend to have shortage error in the distance of the should be uh, in the Final position of the robot. When this caster wheel, as you can see here, it has been stuck in the tile. You can see here tile. Okay, the tile between the tile they have drain. So the drain have been stuck the caster wheel. Uh, so the caster wheel will drag the mobile robot and have the shortage in the stick. Okay. So for improvement, uh, I suggest to have a, a new, uh, more, more, more inside the caster wheel as here. Okay. Next, and to fix the all the wiring and soldering of the wooden part. Okay. In my uh, during my work project, including develop this mobile robot, there will be a huge huge problem about the wiring, especially in the uh, encoder. And if the encoder wiring tend to loose and not tight, there will be a slight problem. The encoder cannot work perfectly. So 
when the wire we put the wire in, just put in uh, plug in place without soldering it will be a problem and the connection some uh, sometimes uh, is a connector and not connected okay and lastly uh, my suggestion to improve this robot inputting the new technology as a mini pick and place robot uh, so we, we easier for put something as the robot we made for uh, navigation why not we put a pick and place robot so the pick and place also automate okay and lastly to install a portable lidar sensor whereas we know the lidar sensor is so 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 uh, pricey where the price is almost uh, 10k uh, 10,000 dollar and uh, 10,000 ringgit so why not we find one uh, this uh, affordable LIDAR, uh, LIDAR sensor that came up with the same output performance okay so that's all for my uh, FYP thank you